thank you for watching Syrian Eats. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to make Mthebbal, which is an eggplant dip. It's uh, similar to hummus, but it's made differently. Now there's baba ganoush, and it's also similar to that, but this has yogurt in it. These are our ingredients today, and I'm going to show you how we're going to make it. I have here half a teaspoon of salt, and I just put a tip of the teaspoon of citric acid. You can use lemon juice. The lemon juice will water it down a little bit, so that's why I like to put the citric acid. I have here two tablespoons of tahini. I have here roasted eggplants, and I will show you um, how to make that in a separate video, and I'll put that in the description box below. And then I have here some yogurt. I usually have homemade yogurt, but right now I don't, so I just have plain Greek yogurt. And I have one half a teaspoon of garlic paste. These are our ingredients today, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put it together. So I have here our roasted eggplant that we grilled outside. You wanna make sure there's no juices. Um, I strained this before I, I freeze it. And I actually thawed this from the freezer. Here is our salt. I'm gonna go ahead and add our salt in with our citric acid first. We're gonna go ahead and mix that in, just like this. And I like to use a fork to kind of break down the chunks. And then I'm gonna add our tahini. My tahini is a little bit pasty because it's the last of what's left in the jar. But two tablespoons is gonna be enough. Go ahead and mix that in. Go ahead and add your garlic. our yogurt and I'm gonna actually start by adding three teaspoons of the yogurt I like it to be a little bit lighter in color so I'm gonna add another two teaspoons. And how much eggplant I used, um, honestly, I usually just bag them into the quart size freezer bag. So this was just a quart of the roasted eggplant. And I mean, you can eyeball the ingredients to the needs of the quantity that you're using. There's not an exact measurement. Um, you know, just add the salt and taste it and add the citric acid and see how it tastes. But you can start with these measurements and then just go from there. Now to my taste buds, this needs a little bit, just a pinch of salt. And a pinch of the citric acid as well. So I'm gonna add just this much. You wanna taste a hint of the, the lemon in there. And it's perfect. And it's ready to plate up and to enjoy with kebabs or just a dip with pita bread or with a fork. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video.